The vast majority of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip don't want a new government. They love Hamas. And I'm going to tell you about the survey that proves it. I've got some news for you. Uh, it's not good news. Um, there's new surveys out regarding the October 7th massacre in southern Israel. And these survey groups have said, this is unbelievable, this new poll from the Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research said the recent, most recent public opinion survey of Palestinians in Gaza, 72% of everybody contacted by this research center says Hamas made, quote, the correct decision to launch its onslaught against Israel. We support the murder of the 1,200 Israelis, mostly civilians, and the kidnapping of 240 others. In other words, Hamas's brutality, videotaped by Hamas, broadcast and posted online by Hamas, showing sexual violence, torture, rape, beheadings, burnings, amputations, all war crimes are supported by 72% of the people in Gaza. And just 16% opposed it. That's it. The rest are either I'm undecided I'm or surprised. Supported. Yeah, I'm surprised that 16 percent made themselves known because a lot of people, a lot of a lot of people in the region, from what I'm understanding, is that they go along with Hamas because they fear for their lives, their family, their livelihood. So they would go along with it. But now, because they're they're the Hamas with the propaganda machine have successfully convinced all the people that are still there in the Gaza Strip that it's Israel at fault instead of just instead of the people realizing that it's Hamas. So imagine, I'm going to say the level of lying, but is it just, is it, how easy is it to lie to them to get them to believe? Well, if you, Israel? if you control all the media and, and just like they did in Germany, just like in the Soviet Union, just like in China, right? In all these dictatorships, if you control the news, the news is what I tell you the news is. Yeah. Up is down, black is white, left is right. You know what I'm saying. Yep, yep. It's like, you know, I was at an event last night and everyone was trying to tell me about how bad the oceans are rising because of climate change. And I said, you know, there's a picture you can see of the Statue of Liberty from 100 years ago. The water's in the exact same place 100 years later. Oh, no, 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 no. That's impossible. The oceans are rising and all the coastal cities of the world will be obliterated. Go, when? <laughs> it's happening right now. And I said, okay, in what city? Oh, it's everywhere. But it's not. Because if you control the news, you control the way people think, you control the way they make their decisions. Listen to this. If elections were had, took place in Judea and Samaria in the West Bank, according to the survey, 82% of the people would vote for Hamas to run the West Bank. And I read you earlier today what Hamas stands for, the death of every single Jew in the world and every single Christian in the world and everybody not Muslim in the world. That's you, that's your lovely family, that's me, that's my lovely family, that's everybody you know, that's everybody I know. 82% would vote for that Nazi criminal organization that will come to kill us both. Why is that? So because should we the show narr the narrative has trained them? So should we show sympathy for when they go in and destroy Hamas? That's for survival, because if they don't, Hamas will come back stronger the next time. And the next time it won't be 1,400 yeah. dead. It's going to be a lot more. It could be tens of thousands. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more. You know, and Joe Biden here recently saying that he's not happy with Israel's actions. And which is kind of really bizarre is that they're asking Joe Biden to tell Israel to do a ceasefire as if the United States of America controls Israel because they don't. Israel has a mind of its own. And at the same time, they're calling Joe Biden genocide Joe 
because of the little because he has not just come completely stop giving him military aid altogether so to call him genocide joe they yeah, never that, condemn hamas they never condemn them not, not a the single UN, time not, not even the, the united UN. nations nope not a bit you're 100 percent correct you're right and it's pathetic and i can't argue with you because you are right <laughs>